It began on Tuesday and will last through the weekend. For the first time, the World Surf League Junior Championships is being held in Oceanside. Even though a high surf advisory is in effect across county beaches through 6 p.m. tonight, the competition continued on with some delays due to king tides, big waves and high winds. Australian surfer Marlon Harrison was still able to get in the water for the event and in the morning on his own time during the dangerous conditions. Yeah, so a group of my friends, we ended up paddling like 200 meters up, maybe even 300 and we're just paddling our hearts off and just we got to the pier and it was just like that 10 second little period between waves and it was like through the pier, out the back and it was just like oh god it was just like so scary because it's like have, there's a lot of barnacles on that pier so I do not want to get washed up against it. WSL North America tour manager Brian Robbins says the winter weather and Oceanside Pier setting add to the high energy event. The venue's just great. I mean the pier kind of creates sort of a stadium like atmosphere got parking, we've got a big beach, there's a community here, so there's, there's infrastructure to not only create a crowd scene, but like a bit of dynamics with the surfers. The event brings together the best junior surfers, 20 years old and younger, from around the globe. As of Thursday morning, just 16 women and 16 men are left, including 16-year-old Sierra Kerr. Her heat got delayed due to Thursday's weather, but she's hoping to bring home a title over the next few days. It has extra meaning for her as she splits time between Australia and Carlsbad in North San Diego County. It's cool because my friends can come watch and my family, they're all here supporting, so it's super good to have that local thing. Tyler Garcia is the Vice President of Business and Brand Development for Visit Oceanside. He says events like the World Surf League Junior Championships reinforce that Oceanside is a surfing mecca which benefits the local tourism industry in both the short and long term. We're home to the uh, U.S. Adaptive uh, Surf Championships. We're also home to the Supergirl Surf Pro, uh, and uh, USA Surfing does their uh, championships here as well for some of their uh, events. So um, really cool uh, repertoire of events, and this just fits in naturally. Garcia and Robbins say they hope the event will be back next year in Oceanside. For this year's competition, surfers will continue to battle it out each day through the weekend with a more standard schedule, and the public is welcome to watch. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.